three. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi. Today, I'm very excited because we have our very special guest today. It is Caroline, and she is a marketer, and she is part of our podcast community. You'll find her on um, our podcast community page, and you'll also find her um, on our podcast under The Advisor. She has her own podcast, and she has her own episodes. And if you really want to learn about how to how giveaways can add value to your business listen to her because she's going to talk about that today along with some other stuff that she's talked about in the past that could really advance your business advance you know make an extra income and really help you in lots of different areas monetarily so caroline it's always a pleasure to have you on the show tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. And I want to hear about how giveaways could add value to businesses, because I think that's an excellent topic that a lot of companies don't do enough of. Well, it's actually a really, it to me, I'm completely biased. It's the, I'll say, funnest way to market your business, because who doesn't like to win? And if you have a marketing tool that can not only make someone a potential customer or one of your customers a winner, then you also win. And so yeah. I really love doing that. Now, what what happened uh, to me on my path was I went to school, graduated marketing, and then I did every job in the marketing department you can imagine. And at one point, I got caught in the dot-com crunch and was laid off. And I read an article in Reader's Digest about a couple that entered sweepstakes as a hobby and... I thought, good idea. I can do that. I don't have to work. I'll just win stuff. <laughs> it does not work that way. I have never been able to earn my living winning. However, uh, because I was able to put on my marketer's hat towards the hobby, I was very successful at winning. And then I started to teach other people how to win. What came as the contest queen, what came with that was companies could see what I was doing and wanted me to help them promote their giveaways. And so now I have another business called Idea Majesty and I use that and I work with companies on the other side of the giveaways mm -hmm. and helping them, you know, create promotions. I pre-vet promotions. Always a good idea to have a second set of eyes, just like editing a book. It's always right. a good idea to have a second set of eyes or a third. <laughs> and and then I also help viral market those giveaways. And sometimes I catch mistakes, but I also share with other businesses how they can use giveaways as a great tool in their marketing tool belt. Yeah. Because even though they should have, they should have a full marketing plan and it doesn't have to be sophisticated. Right. You know, a lot of small businesses are one, two, five people. They, you know, you don't have to have something extensive, but you're going to want the usual, you know, your website, your email list, your social media. And that's where you're going to start to host your giveaways. It's, it's actually not as complicated as people think. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I like to teach people is Simon Sinek always says, what's your why? Well, it's the exact same thing with sweepstakes. Why do you want to host a promotion? Are right. you opening a new location and have um, a grand opening and want to use it for an announcement? Mm -hmm. Are you launching a new product? Great way to get eyeballs on a brand new product. Are you, um, there's, it could be anything. Is it a new menu or your restaurant? Yeah. Or is it the holiday season and you want to just give something away each season? Are you a seasonal product? Like if you're host, uh, if you're a barbecue company hosting giveaways, maybe in your slow season to get eyeballs on your company when things right. are not as busy might be a good way to boost that in say January when yeah. everybody's thinking of barbecues in April and May. Right. You can pick, pick something up in the lull. There's lots right. of different whys, uh, why you want to run a giveaway. And so you have to look at your why and then why your why is also going to determine what you're going to do. So, for example, if you want to get more likes on Instagram, not right. rocket science, you're going to host an Instagram giveaway. 
If you want to get more email subscribers, you're going to host a giveaway where it re requires people to sign up to your newsletter. <laughs> it's it's uh it's there's you know you can tie in your why and yeah. and it doesn't even have to cost a lot one of my favorite stories i tell businesses is i was cleaning my office i've been to many many sweepstakes conventions i had a ton of swag and i was moving i thought i don't want to move this i made batches photographed it put it on instagram gave it away mm -hmm. so now i had content I had engagement. I cleared my office and it only cost me a bit of time and postage. Yeah. That was the expense of the giveaway. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be really sophisticated. I mean, restaurants still have fish bowls for you to throw in your business card. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Right. Why not? People are in there. If yeah. you're coming in, we give away one dinner every month. Throw right. in your card, add them because we'll put you on the newsletter list so we let you know what our specials are. Right. It can be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's it's really it's you have to be a little bit creative. Right. You have to, you know, put your thinking cap on a little bit. Don't just do something for the sake of doing something. I see this a lot at Christmas time because we I label it sweepstakes season because every company you can think of is hosting. Um, the 12 days of giveaways, the 24 days of giveaways, right. end of season giveaways. And there, there's so many that you could get lost in the shuffle. And some companies think, oh, we should just have a giveaway. Don't just have a giveaway for the sake of having a giveaway. Right. That's why I say at the beginning, it should always be part of your overall marketing plan. You know, look at the year. Actually, January is a great time or end of December is a great time to do this. Pull out the next year's calendar. Look at all the marketing activities you're going to do throughout the year and which ones would a giveaway fit well into? Like where would that dovetail as part of that plan? So you know almost 12, depending on when you're doing it, up to 12 months in advance. So you're prepared yeah. with your timing and your tools and your prizes. Mm-hmm. That's and, great. Yeah, it's really simple. And you don't even have to have super sophisticated rules. If you're if you're using some of the tools they provide them with you, like Rafflecopter or Woobox mm -hmm. and Gleam have generic rules built in. If you're doing something on Instagram, just make sure you have eligibility, who can enter, frequency, how often they can enter, when does it end? That, right. Those ones I see missing all the time on Instagram. And then mm -hmm. if there's any other clauses, there's been some where companies were giving uh, prizes away and then they want you to come in the store, but they didn't tell anybody that in the rules. Yeah. And then they draw a winner. Oh, you're too far away. Right. So, you know, make sure that you <laughs> cover all your, cross all your T's and dot all your I's. Yeah. Um, if you are doing a promotion that's where i get called a lot to to pre-vet before you launch always a good yeah. idea mm -hmm. now like i said no one runs a giveaway out of the goodness of their heart it's part of that marketing plan so some yes. other reasons you might want to host a giveaway a attract like i said before attract attention to your brand product or service of course increase sales Mm -hmm. there's actually a white paper that I have now. It's a little bit old, uh, but the information hasn't changed. It was when it was ePrize and they did a white paper saying sweepers make better consumers mm. because what happens is a lot of sweepers love to enter giveaways, but they find brands and products and services that they never would have heard of if it wasn't for the giveaway. Right. And a lot of them find new things that they love and then also tell all their friends about right like hey i won this this is a fantastic oh my gosh i'm gonna buy it now because this is yeah. great mm -hmm. i didn't expect this and so it's a it's a wonderful way to increase also if you have current customers like a lot, i tell people subscribe to the company newsletters because a lot of times they'll have exclusive giveaways so yeah. you have to be a subscriber 
to get that link to go and enter. Right. Or get the clue to get an extra entry or whatever it is. Yeah. So it's a great way to increase uh, loyalty and increase that customer database. And, and if you've never started, if your company's new or you've never done it before, it's a great way to start what they call permission marketing, where you're allowed to talk to people. Social media has really ramped that up. Yeah. It used to be more important when it was just email, but right. now you can talk to people on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I don't know. I'm, am I missing any? YouTube. <laughs> right. Now they're all there. <laughs> they're all there. Um, now there's five method of entries. Now some have fallen a little more to the wayside than others over time. The hobby has changed, but yeah. there's in person. So this is good for anybody that has a bricks and mortar store. Yeah. Or you do pop-up events. You could do something if you have a pop-up event. Then of course is the old standby phone in on the radio. Yeah. I don't know how many radio stations are listening, but they're probably already all having the giveaways. Mm -hmm. Um there's mail in or snail mail. Yeah. Um I don't know many companies that are doing those anymore, but if you're a medium to larger size company and you're having a bigger promotion, uh, especially if it requires receipts or purchase that you have to have the no purchase entry in the rules. So that's when you're probably going to get those mail-ins and then of course, online or via the e internet. And then there's still some text messaging ones, right? So th that's a possibility depending on what your business is and how you connect to your um, customers and your prospects. But of course, online and internet, used to be very small and it is now like 90% of the pie. Yeah. And then of course, internet breaks down to, you know, website, online form, social media, you know, et cetera. Right. And there's also all kinds of tools out there for companies. If you're a little bit of a larger company and you have a bit of a budget, you can use a tool like a Woo Box or Gleam yeah. to run giveaways for you. And they don't just offer sweepstakes. They offer all kinds of programs that you can use. So you can use it for couponing. You can use it for loyalty programs. You can use it for different types of giveaways. So hashtag giveaways. So you say, hey, if you're a pet food company, take a picture of your pet this Halloween in a costume, post it on Instagram with this hashtag, and then you go into your program Put in that hashtag it pulls in all the entries yeah and then you can do a drawing from that it's they have so many options it's fantastic and it takes all the work like how, you think to yourself well how am i going to find all these entries and how am i yeah. going to do a, a legal drawing yeah there's all kinds of tools out there that are fairly inexpensive yeah that can allow you to do all types of things so there's Instagram giveaways, hashtag giveaways, photo, you know, giveaways. You can do video ones. Get your customers involved. Right. And then also have someone in the company test it. Because mm -hmm. I've had, I've done um, presentations at agencies, at agencies that have all the, you know, the larger companies. And I say, yeah. okay, so how many of you test it, go and enter after it launches? Mm -hmm. None of them did. And I said, why don't you do it? They said, we can't win. I said, yeah, but you control the database. You can right. either t go in and delete those entries. Yeah. Or you, if they happen to get picked in the final drawing, then just delete them. Right. <laughs> At the end. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're not going to let them have the prize. But yeah. if you have trouble entering, then the average Joe isn't going to enter if right. something's too confusing. So please yeah. test it. <laughs> please test it. It sounds so obvious. It does. It's amazing it's how many people don't. Yeah. And then the other thing, a lot of companies, companies are getting better at this, but not enough in my opinion. Mm -hmm. is what is labeled as back-end marketing. Companies are screaming for content and yet they never post the results. Yeah, you never see that. You never see that. 
and the and you don't even have to be um you know divulgent about it because somebody might worry about their privacy so yeah. for example all you would have to do say you ran a giveaway yeah. and you would just post on your instagram oh stacy from new jersey was our october winner congratulations make sure you stay following us to see what our next giveaway is going to be right and people be like oh okay i didn't win this one but i'm gonna watch some of them, there's some that I follow. They have the person come into the store because it's a national chain. So whatever store is near them. Yeah. And they take a picture with them and the prize. Right. And that goes on their social. So people see actual people. Most people don't mind, actually. They're so excited that they won. Yeah. <laughs> that they and they're so happy they won they they go ahead and and allow the pictures i i don't mind it i think it's good for companies to show real people winning oh yeah i definitely do mm -hmm. and again then you have more content yeah to share and then people feel sweepstakes aren't a scam i get all that that all the time mm -hmm. when i'm you know sharing giveaways yeah or talking about learning how to win and people yeah. say oh it's a scam Oh, mm -hmm. trust me it's not i've right. won a lot of prizes i've had a good month i've won two sets of concert tickets and a set of theater tickets wow i like the date night prizes they're, they're always good mm -hmm. and it's funny because sometimes you i win big like i've won a huge tv i've won trips and then i win tickets or i win you know something small it's i like the up and down it's what makes it fun yeah. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, but and none of those companies ever come back and say, share your stuff on social, use this hashtag, or yeah. I always try and be mindful. I always thank the sponsor. I always take pictures and say, thank you. We had such a wonderful time or right. this arrived and we're so happy or whatever. Yeah. I always try and thank the sponsor because if you are, if you, if you kept giving somebody gifts and they never thanked you after a right. while, you're like, this isn't, you know, nobody's appreciating yeah. any of the effort. Right. So that's the the problem. I wear two, ha two crowns, I call it. So I've got yeah. my marketer's crown on and I've got my entrance crown on. So I always try and teach the entrance to think like the marketers and get the marketers to think like the entrance. So if you're a marketer, and you're hosting a giveaway, well, what would you like to win? What would you like to see exactly. if you were the one entering? And then mm -hmm. it helps also with the creativity and designing the promotion yeah. and what they're going to do as part of their planning. It, it just makes it um, easier to do that. Right. And like I said before, make sure you have those rules in there. Now, if you can have small rules that are just, you know, short on a good Instagram post, yeah. or if you're being more sophisticated, some of them will actually say link in bio for the full rules and it will link to a page mm -hmm. on their website that's been written by a promotional lawyer, depending yeah. on the size of your business right. and the size of the giveaway. It's, you know, just like don't get your, you know, your Uncle Fred, who's doing real estate law to write your yeah. rules, just like there's corporate law, criminal law, real estate law, state law, there is actually promotional law. And there's lawyers that specialize in giveaway rules. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really important uh, to have someone who understands the ins and outs, because this is something companies might not realize. Yeah. The rules are a legal and binding contract between the entrant and the sponsor, always written in favor of the sponsor, obviously, that yeah. can be that can be used in a court of law. Mm -hmm. And I have said this, I've never seen it ever go to court to right. that sophisticated degree, except when we watched the documentary McMillions about the scandal it's not a scam. It was a scandal mm -hmm. about the scandal. And I think it was, I don't know, spoiler alert, like the fourth episode where the general, um, the attorney general used the rules in court. 
That's how what they used as their argument. Oh, the prosecutor. Okay. And I jumped up off the couch. <laughs> George says to me, sit down, relax. <laughs> so I said, I knew it. The rules are legal. They can be held up in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important because you need to protect yourself, especially as the sponsor. Right. Just like you have insurance for your car, you need yeah. insurance for your sweepstakes and those rules are your insurance right they have clauses in those rules that say you know if something happens we can just shut the promotion down for example um if there's a technical glitch they yes. can they have the the backing to change something if a prize isn't available they there's always clauses that they can substitute the prize right with something equal or greater value it's up to them I've yeah. had that happen to me one time. I, I, I won a guitar, an electric guitar. I was so excited. I, it was a gift that I mm -hmm. won. That's the other thing. I love winning when it's, I'm going to use them as gifts really saves the budget. <laughs> and the model that was in the rules wasn't available. So they sent me a note and said, Hey, um, this isn't what we had promised. We think you're absolutely going to love it though. And they actually sent me a check for the difference. Wow. Which I was really surprised. I was like, okay. I was happy either way. Yeah. But I thought that was very generous. Because legally, they didn't have to do that. But they they also knew that they didn't want to disappoint um, someone that buys their products. Because they do yeah. buy the products. Right. And they wanted to keep me as a loyal customer. Right. And so they happened to do that. So it's fun. But yeah. There's so many ins and outs but the rules depending on the size of your promotion can be as simple as a little packet on instagram that says hey it's open to those in this state only because you you know you just want this group depending on the size of your yeah. business and it's um it ends on october 31st and you have to come to our store to pick it up right and please just tag one friend in the comments and that's it like simple and clean short right up to where they do you know national giveaways by fortune 500 companies and i've seen rules be like 14 pages long <laughs> depending on the sophistication of the uh promotion yeah they can be like one page up to you know 14 or 15 based yeah. on the sophistication you know they've had they have a lot of um some of the big multinational corporations will have your um, app giveaways now. They get yeah. you to, the companies like want you to use their app to order product right, or service. And then you get entries that way and you collect yeah. points. It's there. And so those rules are really sophisticated. And that's why I make sure that there's no excuse not to have rules, even if you're a small business. Right. And like I said, it doesn't have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. You can use anything from your own swag. Yeah. Right. I actually have my own swag. <laughs> I give away all the time. Mm. I'm always ordering stickers and things like when I give away prizes at events. Mm -hmm. And actually I started doing where I was hiding prizes at events and oh, I really? put a tag on them that said, if you find this, come find me at the event and you can win another prize. So people were like scouring the convention hall for like these little packets. I used to put like chocolates and different things inside. And it yeah. was fun. It didn't cost me a lot. I went to the dollar store and bought the mini chocolate bars. Yeah. Yeah. And put them in little packs with a little piece of paper and, the attendees were scouring and I'd put five before each session. Yeah. And they'd be like, did, did they get them all away yet? And then last year it was in Vegas. And I thought, I can't hide anything in Vegas. This isn't going to work. Cause usually we're in a small, like next year I can do it again. We're going to be in little rock, Arkansas. Okay. The year before it was Phoenix and Phoenix is big, but we had taken over the whole hotel. I can't remember yeah. how many hundreds of people showed up. But we basically took over the hotel. So I was able to do it, even though it was a large venue. Mm -hmm. But in Las Vegas, I couldn't do it. So I did it on Instagram. 
And I did right. a carousel with trivia questions. And the first three people that found me and gave me the right answer uh, won the prize pack. So there's all different kinds of ways to do it. You can do like those are in-person events that are just for the attendees of the convention. But it's it's fun. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be super sophisticated for get people to follow you. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you oh, just have to be creative. Yeah. And I feel like in our society, especially people want things easy because if it's not easy to to um to to apply for the giveaway if there's too much to read if it, you know i think people won't do it you know i think it has mm -hmm. to be very easy and and brief and to the point and just like one or two things to fill out and that's it because i think more than that yeah. to fly away from it again it goes back to the why because for entrance, the more barriers to entry there are, the less entries are going to be. So as an entrant, you want sometimes the difficult giveaways because your odds of winning are better if you are the creative type. Okay. Um, so for example, one of my friends, he he's a very good cook. So he enters the recipe giveaways. And recently, one of his got picked and he went to a regional cook-off. Oh, wow. He's much harder outside of his own kitchen and he wasn't, he's not a professional chef. So he, yeah. he didn't win the region to go on to the national, but he still yeah. won a trip to go and try. Yeah. But less people are going to enter because you have to have some skills. Right. With the sponsor's product, right? Because it, it was a cook off. Yeah. To be able to get to that level. So sometimes depending on what your company does. Right. Right. This was a bread company, I think. So that he made a like a burger, but he used tr he was you he did a seafood burger. Yeah. And the pictures were phenomenal. And but unfortunately, when you're not in your own kitchen, sometimes things don't work out. So he couldn't yeah. get it to work the same. Right. But um, at least he got that far. Yeah. Oh, and, for sure. Yeah. So depending on what you're company does you may want to make something a little bit harder yeah for that specialty because now the company that company has all these recipes that they can use throughout the whole year of, right you know they can take those recipes because that's part of the rules again and they own them yeah. And they can now go into their own test kitchen and recreate them and then use them all year long hey this was one of our submissions from last mm -hmm. year's giveaway. Right. And, you know, this person made it to the regionals. Try our recipe. Try, you know, this recipe for, you know, XYZ burger, you know, seafood smash or whatever he called it. Yeah. And then, you know, and then the next one they can say, oh, so and so submitted this vegan one and somebody submitted right. this, you know, beef. And so then they have a whole year's worth of marketing material. Yeah. Um, but they're, like I said, they're, I would say they're a medium sized business versus a, a small business. Wow. So again, it also depends on your marketing budget. Yeah, very true. And they don't, like I said before, they don't just come up with that. They plan that, you know, from January. Okay, what's our marketing budget? How much do we want to spend? And now they have all this marketing material for the next year. So yeah. it's part of their overall plan they just didn't decide oh we're just gonna fly all these people all over the country and try these yeah. different things <laughs> do you do you think how many times a year do you think um brings real value to a uh, company like how many times should people have a giveaway should it be during each holiday major holiday or is it a, you know certain times of the year that really bring value when you do giveaways is there a certain formula that that works i think it you? depends on the business like i do one for my business every month i have a mm -hmm. monthly giveaway Okay. And for the, so that gives me value to keep people, you know, coming back and coming to my blog and entering and learning. And so yes. that's what I do a monthly, I do a monthly giveaway, but yeah. some businesses may suit better, you know, quarterly or just annually. And again, it depends on the size of the giveaway, like the bread company who did a cook off, they're probably hosting one a year, yeah. but it's a big one. And right. then it gives them marketing material for the whole year. And then they could ramp up for next year's event. It's kind right. of like the most famous one of that is the Pillsbury cook-off. 
their grand yeah. prize is a million dollars oh wow their real their rules are very sophisticated they have like eight i think they have like 15 different categories you know you can have breakfast and brunch and savory and sweet and you know like like they have all the different categories so you can submit i think a, up to so many recipes per category so people enter and they test them i do know somebody that won um to the final cook-off i think they narrow it down to so many per category and then the the winner of each category goes to one last cook-off oh wow and um yeah it's quite it's quite the thing and so they they uh they they do one a year <laughs> uh, but like i said look at what you're doing um it can be quarterly it could be seasonally mm -hmm. so you might want to do spring summer fall and winter you might want to do like monthly you might want to do january 1st march 1st you know um june 1st you know or july 1st sorry and yeah. october 1st mm -hmm. it you have to again this is why I always bring it back to the marketing. A lot of people start with the end. Well, we want to give away this prize. No, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Right. What's your marketing plan for the year? Yeah. And then where do you fit into that? Right. And then you can figure it out because you might want to do one a week. There's, there's companies that I know that host weekly giveaways. So they're giving right. away stuff 52 weeks a year. Yeah. Um, again, it depends on what you're doing, um, and what you've got going on. Wow. I like that yeah. idea. I think, I think, I think doing giveaways does bring a lot of value to any business and even, even people who have like do services, give away a free service that's worth, you know, X amount of dollars, you know, and, you know, see if you can bring people in too, because it doesn't even have to be just a product. It could be a service, you know, oh, it could be a service. I've won, I've won hairdressing. I've won makeup application. I've won my nails done. I've won massage. I've won, um, a house cleaning. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> I've won a dinner party once. Oh, wow. From a beer company. They sent chefs to my house. They even brought the cutlery. They just took over wow. my kitchen and I just put a table out with a tablecloth. They brought the glasses. They brought the beer. They brought the food. They brought the cut. They brought everything. Oh, <laughs> it wow. Was fantastic. And they packed it all up and took it all when they left. It was great. That is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Right. Oh. You can win all kinds of things. Like, that's what I said. You also could, you know, get creative. Yeah. Um, When giving out your prizes uh because there's no limit yeah the limit is your imagination and that right. is limitless yeah so you can do anything and that's the other thing i just said this it was a beer company but it you can partner up so yeah. if you're you know a hair salon and you've got there's a clothing store next door partner yeah. with them and give somebody a complete makeover you get an outfit from this store and you get a new hair from our and makeup from our store right you know uh, it's cross cross marketing i mean companies are doing it all the time the big the big companies are doing it yeah coke and oreo just did one. Oh wow <laughs> right right like who would think right oh my goodness yeah you you could do so much with a giveaway. And, you know, once, you know, you get one good, happy customer, you know, it, word of mouth goes a long way and you could really bring business. Like you said, content, you got, now you have a lot of free content that you could easily create, you know, and you could use it to your advantage. There's, there's so many things you could do with a giveaway. Now, if you well, had to like look at all the things that we talked about today, what are some of the things you really like to emphasize to the listeners that, you know, that you really want them to understand, especially business owners who are listening to this? Okay. So the first one is make sure it's just part of your overall marketing plan and put it in the marketing plan. So make sure that's on the agenda when you're designing, you know, the next year's plan. Yeah. And then use your imagination like be limitless. There's no box. Yeah. This is the box. 
Mm -hmm. Your mind's the the box. So it's anything and be, yeah. keep yourself open to ideas coming from anywhere. You'd be amazed at who will say something to you that'll tweak an idea. Right. And the last thing is, which should actually be the first thing is always have rules. Yeah. Because for an entrant, my number one tip is always read the rules so they don't right. disqualify themselves. And for marketers, it's the exact same advice. Just conversely, always make yeah. sure you have a good set of rules. Right, right. The rules is always number one, even though I give it as my third tip all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And you know, this is great for entrepreneurs. You know, you don't really see entrepreneurs using giveaways, but this is a great, you know, tactic to really get clients and to 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 really boost your business. If you're a, a coach or you're if you're a entrepreneur of some type of business, whether it be product or service, you know, they should consider doing a giveaway because you don't really see many entrepreneurs doing giveaways. You know, that you get free downloads on their website, but you don't see them really given a giveaway. And that could probably be a very good advantage. Yeah, it's a, it's a great tool. And like I said, don't just have a giveaway for the sake of having a giveaway and don't give away something that's not tied to you. You right. know, if you're if you're an artist, it makes mm -hmm. sense to give away a painting, not, you know, a gift card to, a, you know, a, a website. Right. Or to the local coffee shop, unless you're having an art exhibit at the coffee shop. Yeah. Right. Like to always tie it to yeah. what you're, you do or serve or sell. Right. In some capacity. Yeah. Like I said, I gave away a lot of swag that I received from conventions. Well, it tied into my audience because it was all green and had four leaf clovers on it and said lucky. And yeah, you know, it wasn't, it was something that my audience would be like, oh, I like that. Yeah, exactly. But it wasn't my branded stuff. It didn't, you know, I right. do sell I'm lucky shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you have to just, just, you have to think you're, you, I know you have a lot of people on here and it's all mindset, right? You have to think you're lucky before you are. You yeah. have to think you're successful before you are. Right. You have to believe that a promotion a giveaway is going to be a good marketing tool for you before it is. Exactly. And then you just have to figure out how to dovetail that into what you're doing. Right. I love it. I love it. And where can people find you? Well, for marketing, it's idea majesty, of course, because I was <laughs> the contest queen. I had to keep the crown on for the marketing side of the business. So I <laughs> went with idea majesty because it's all about those ideas. Yes, it is. It totally is. Now, what are some of the services you offer in your marketing programs? Well, my most popular one is my viral marketing service. If you're having a giveaway and it's not like the field of dreams, you shall build it. They will come. Yeah. <laughs> I, I promote, so I do everything from an exclusive blog to an exclusive newsletter blast to promoting it on various sites and I even do I even started doing videos because that wasn't a part of it before but now I do TikToks and reels and stories and mm -hmm. uh, talking about the giveaways yeah which is fun I love doing those ones because who doesn't like to win exactly <laughs> <laughs> now before we go is there anything else you'd like to add to this conversation that we may not have covered about giveaways and how it gives value to the businesses I don't, I don't think so. I think we covered it because it's just a fun way to add to your marketing plan. Yeah. That's, you know, exciting for you and exciting for your customers and your um, potential customers. Because yeah. when you do something like that, it's going to reach a new audience. Yes. A hundred percent. And that's, that's the nice thing with the new social media. It doesn't just go to those people that follow you. It's yeah. starting to be shared to people that ha may have that same interest in right. what you're doing and yeah. also people that may never have seen you before. So it's right. getting you in front of new eyeballs, which is what we all want as entrepreneurs and yeah. businesses is to get in front of new people. Right. 
No, this is definitely, this is a definitely great way to get in front of a new audience because if you, if you really want to expand your businesses, you have to move to and, and try to tap into other audiences besides the ones you already have. And that would be a, gr that's a great way to have business growth for sure. I love oh, this. It's, it's the funnest, like I said, to me, poor grammar, it's the funnest way. <laughs> But it, it's a good word. The funnest. It's the yeah. funnest way to market your business. I'm really biased because I love helping companies design and execute those giveaways. Yeah. And I've done everything from draw winners to fulfill prizes for businesses. Yeah. Emailing those potential winners because they're always potential until they come back to you with that release form. Right. That's why it's always potential winner when you email them before they become the official winner. <laughs> and now I don't, um, when it's something small, like when I was giving away swag from my office, if they yeah. messaged me back on Instagram, I just sent them the prize. I wasn't going to worry about a $5 item. Right. But when you're winning something big, especially really big, um, mind you, I have had to fill out release forms for $10 prizes. Wow. <laughs> but still, it's yeah, it's fun. But yeah, you know, the the biggest prize I won was a trip to the Olympics. And so oh, yeah, wow. you can believe I had there was a lot of paperwork to yeah. be sent back before they would officially declare you as a as, as a, a winner. Win wow. Uh, for that prize. But um yeah, it's it's so much fun when you're doing that and like emailing somebody to say that they won a prize. Yeah, I love getting the thank you so much. We're so excited. We love it. Da, da, da. It's, you made my day. Like that's just who doesn't want to send emails like that? Of course. Or, or DMs like that. They're the yeah. best. Oh yeah, for sure, a hundred percent. I love it. I love it. This has been amazing, Carolyn. I I love this this episode. Uh, you know, it, it's. You know, a lot of times, you know, it's overlooked and, you know, um, more people should really look into doing more giveaways. There are a lot of businesses that do it, but really, you know, a lot of, a lot of, there's a, still a lot of different industries that haven't really tapped into it hundred percent that definitely should. And I think this is a great way. And I, you know, I'm glad there are people like you who actually help companies actually, you know, help them through the giveaway process and make sure it's successful and show them how to do it the right way. So it, it turns out to be a, a really uh, big event that has a lot of positive outcome in it. So, you know, kudos to you. And I, I love, you know, I love how you're doing this and helping so many businesses and also helping people because you're bringing joy into the, into the, into the person's life who's applying for the giveaway and, and you're helping businesses grow at the same time. So this is great. I love it. This has been an amazing episode. Thank you so much for coming on this show. And I, I lo really look forward to your, your next episode with us because you have, you know, you talk about such great topics and they're, they're so interesting. Thank you for having me because it is actually my absolute favorite thing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, who doesn't, it's all about winning in life. Like yeah. the sponsor wins, the entrant yes. wins, everybody's happy. I mean, we need more of that. And oh. that's why it's my favorite thing to talk about because I just helping people have more excitement in their lives, whether they are creating something as part of their business or they're winning something, you know, to cheer up their day. It's yeah. the best thing to do. And everyone's have in a good mood. Oh, a hundred percent. And you wrote a book about winning, didn't you? Yeah, I have. I'm actually, I've got how to you can't win if you don't enter and how to win cash cards trips and more. And I'm finishing up prizes, prizes everywhere, but those are for entrance. I, one of these days I must write a book for marketers, but I have a publishing company and I have like 10 books in the works. And so I don't know when I would get to that. Eventually just put it Eventually. on your Yes, yes. <laughs> well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Carolyn, for coming on the show. I really enjoyed today's episode. You're great. Thank you so much. You have a great day. You too.